welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna talk about my favorite cars, the SLR McLaren, and I have a special edition being built by MSO. It's called HDK SLR by MSO. There's 12 units they're gonna build, and this project was interesting. I was told this project's gonna start right after I signed the contract for my Heritage Edition with MSO, and I always wanted to get a 722 GT race car SLR. Obviously, they're not street legal, and they're gazillions of dollars because they only made, I think, 12 units. So, since MSO is gonna redo it, and guess what? I can actually drive this to my lunch and shoot some great contents for you guys. And I get the look of the 722 GT, but the interior of a regular SLR 722S. Completely redone. It's gonna cost about $350,000, and I'm not including the car. I gotta ship my car, which I already did. I had a gray SLR. I don't know if you guys recall, I had it here. I shipped that about four months ago. So the car has been a strip down, and now it's down to making the decision. What color should I do? If I should dip the entire car in white, what number should I put in the car? So let's get to it. Well, let's start with the color. You guys know I love white. I have a white SLR Roadster and the 722 GT white matching to my Roadster would be amazing. Now the decision is, do I want it all white or do I want to keep it similar to the 722 GT prototype original, which had the aero in carbon fiber exposed, uh, which they have semi renderings. It looks really cool. It looks obviously like a track race car, but I, I don't know. I also like the complete white. It looks so clean, especially with white wheels. Yeah, I don't know. I really like it fully dipped in white. And the question is, what numbers do I put on it? You guys know I love 333 is my lucky number. It's a 12 story high rise building located in Houston. It's called 333 North Sam Houston Parkway. I've bought it three times during the down cycle and I've made five and six million dollars the last two times and I'm about to make that again for the third time. But anyway, let's get back to the car. 333 seems a little too busy. I may go with 003, which is three out of the 12 cars they're making. And I wanted to get your opinion. So we got 333 or we can do 003. I think 003 looks cooler, doesn't look as busy. Mm, or I can just do no numbers at all. Comment down below if I should go no numbers, go 003 or go 333. Now let's talk about what's happening to the car. The car is gonna be a stripped down to the bone. The car is gonna have so many upgrades, new front bumper. Well, I gotta go back to my list. There's 22 lists. New front bumper and splitter, new wider top shell with bonnet vents, new rear wheel arch and side sill extensions, new rear bumper and diffuser, new rear wing, new 19 inch lightweight wheels, new ceramic coated lightweight sport exhaust with bypass valve and new exhaust tip design. That's my favorite. That's the same thing I have on my heritage. New unique interior retrim in your choice of color. Hmm, Alcantara, white, gray, and red. New unique interior retrim, we said that already. Full repaint in color of your choice, glossy white. Handling package with new suspension and modified steering, unique MSO badging, unique built number badge. I'm gonna stop there because I'm running out of breath. There's so much. The car is gonna have new suspension, new rack and pinion, new steering. Everything in the car is gonna be basically redone. And the car is gonna have more horsepower. The exhaust gives it more horsepower, suspension, more aero, more downforce. And I can't wait to see it in person and it sets lower of course and the best part i don't lose nothing because i'm gonna get all my old stock parts on the car shipped back to me on a crate like they did with my heritage edition so i'll have plenty of spare parts to go around for my other eight slrs basically i can have my own slr junkyard so if you need any body parts you know where to find me all right this is going to be one heck of a car let's close this down and i want to tell you guys about another exciting car it's not going to be as powerful as this one but still AMG. All right, my next car is the G-Wagon, and this is not just a regular G-Wagon, super limited. It's called G63 4x4 square. You guys remember I had a G500 square. This is gonna be souped up of the same version, and obviously has the same big old fenders, bigger tire, 
much uh, higher suspension, and surprisingly, it's gonna be a slower than a regular G63. I'm guessing because of the weight and also aero, right, is higher, so it's probably gonna have some uh, wind resistance. So 577 horsepower, let's see what's the difference between the two. The regular G63 will set you back at the base price of 179,000. This one, they haven't given me the price, but they know a VIP customer, it's rude to ask how much. You got transmission, same transmission, uh, zero to 64 and a half seconds on a regular G63. My car is gonna be 5.0, but again, who's doing racing in this car? And then you have uh, power, 577 horsepower, same, same torque, 627 pound of torque. And launch date to be determined, well, I'm definitely getting my car probably by end of this year. I'm actually going to expect my car today, so it's perfect timing. All right, let's inspect my G63 4x4 square. They don't have a configurator yet, so we're gonna use a regular G63 configurator. Well, we got the regular colors at no cost, and then you have a special custom paints. On average, these cost about $6,500. Now, you guys know I love white, but I'm thinking since I have my MG1 coming, and I have my GT Black Series uh, P1 edition, I'm thinking maybe I'll get this as close as possible to those spec. Three of them side by side, it'll be amazing. You got MG1 that sits much lower than the GT Black Series, and then this monster, that'd be quite a lineup. Not to mention my five silver SLRs I got. Hmm. Well, here's what it looks like in white. You know, you can never go wrong with white though. I love white. Let me reduce it now, it's too much. This probably would be the closest to my GT Black Series. Hmm, but how am I gonna get the stars on there? I better have a talk with AMG. That would be amazing. Well, we got wheel options. You definitely wanna dress that up with wheels. Oh, only 3,000 bucks. I'll take an extra set. There we go. That looks cool. You know, there are some cool paint options too for 6,500 bucks. I've never had anything in blue. It's called uh, South Sea Blue Metallic. That's pretty cool or even red. Hmm, Jupiter red, what do you guys think? That would look cool. If I can match it to my AMG1 color spec, um, I'm thinking to do something totally crazy this time. This is also cool, it's called Desert Silver Metallic. This is another one that's cool, it's got dark olive green. Magno, wow, that looks mean. Yeah, imagine this on the G63 4x4 squared this size, massive size, it's gonna look like military style. You know what? I don't know, I like this. This is making me even more confused now. Uh, then we got the brown uh, Magno, this is not so much. And this is another one that's kinda of cool. It's called Bronze Magno, Centered Bronze Magno. That looks really cool. All right, what do you guys think? Blue, red, or even China blue. I don't know. Um, I really like this one here because uh, the dark olive green, it's got a mixture of two. And look, this is what it looks like at night. Who wants to inspect it at night like that? You know, white always looks amazing. That's why you can never go wrong with white. And if I were to go white, I would definitely choose the Designio Diamond White Metallic for 2,300 bucks more. It just has more depth to it, it's more rich, and in my opinion, it looks great. Here's the thing though, the 4x4 square does come with carbon fiber exposed fenders, body skirt, so, you know, you gotta be mindful. If you go darker color, you may not see that contrast. So that's my only hesitation, if I were to go with this dark olive color, it would probably not be as noticeable on the fenders, it would blend in too much. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know down below if, uh, what color you would choose. Now let's take a look inside, see what options we have on the interior. Of course, if I were to go with the Designio white package, I would 100% choose the white interior. There we go, sweet. I wanna see if I can go all white, all same color. There we go. That looks great. Uh huh. What is this? It has carbon fiber, two-tone dashboard, and Napa. Oh my God, there's too many options. Guys, I think I'm gonna 
end the video here. I'm gonna walk into Fletcher Jones Mercedes and inspect this in person because there's way too many options and I do wanna see if there's a way they can do the AMG One package on this car, which would be absolutely bonkers. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed the video. Be safe, be well, and I'll see you guys next week. And make sure you subscribe and like the video. So I sold this for 40.7 million uh, two years ago. So I made about close to $12 million. Residential investors work longer hours for lower returns compared to commercial real estate investors. Contrarian Academy helps residential investors successfully acquire their first commercial property in six months or less. So there's a lot of pockets of opportunity where you can take great real estate that's located in a great location and repurpose it. While one state, for example, Houston that's heavily invested in oil and gas industry is experiencing a recession, you may have another state like California experiencing the economic boom. You don't really have to wait for a global economic recession to jump out and invest your money and buy real estate. Apply now by clicking the link below.